What's up everyone, this is Kiki Alexander, also known as the Panda Photographer from 646studios.com and today I want to show you the reasons why you should always maintain your laptop or your desktop computers. With that said, I am not a computer professional, I am a computer enthusiast that used to build gaming water coolant systems for a living. Also, I do have a degree in uh, computer engineering and I am familiar with hardware and software uh, components and uh, software tools. And this tool here today is called System Mechanics Pro. Now, I've been using System Mechanics Pro since 2002 and I have to say it's been a phenomenal tool for maintaining your computer, make sure it's healthy, make sure uh, mechanical hard drives are uh, defrag and realign and before I get to any of the tools and the live boost and security methods and the active live care I want to say that you should never ever ever defrag or realign an SSD they all have trim support so remember that with that said I want to go through a rundown with uh, System Mechanics Pro now you can download this from System Mechanics website you can also use it for 30 days free so and how it works is if you do buy it it is also associated with your email so keep that in mind and in your email you will get a uh, serial key which I'm not going to show you mine because mine uh, doesn't expire to 2018 of next year and I might get it extended if System Mechanics Pro send me another uh, serial key because I am in love with this program with that said, uh, I'm not here on System Mechanics uh, behalf. I'm not promoting them. I am recommending, so I'm not sponsored by them. So, with that said and out of the way, I would just like to continue on to System Mechanics Pro. Now, on the dashboard, you can see that the system is good and it says no issues. Okay. And you have a history and you have a PC status. The PC status tells you in real time what is taking place on your computer what is wrong how much cash you need to clean out it tells you data that you need to know and it also gives you hard drive information and you can see it from what I have is SSDs now I only use SSDs so and with that said and it also gives you a notification that when you are using the programs you are using the program at startup programs it will tell you what are the systems necessary uh, user choices, unnecessary, unknowns, and dangers. And you can see from what I am uh, listening this is zero dangers at the moment. And you can see it all the way down, to, it is healthy computer. Now, when you analyze uh, your system, the system as either a SSD or a hard drive. Now, if you have multiple SSDs and multiple mechanical hard drives, Mechanical hard drives may take a little bit more time, especially if you're not defragging every 15 to 20 days or realigned. And I get that to the I get to that point in a moment. I'm just going to repair a little bit of these damages here and the junk files from the Windows from the Explorer. And I just want to say thank you to the council for letting me use the monitors here to make this video while I have time to kill it. I really appreciate it. Um, but with that said, I have the tools here. Now you have all in one, which would just clean your system up for you if you want to go do a deep defrag or a, a light defrag. Do so you have an internet cleanup? You have a Windows cleanup. You have a registry cleanup, and you have an advanced and uninstaller. Now the advanced uninstaller would install programs that should be removed and now there's always some leftover files from the previous uh, install program and that is due to the system if you go to Windows you go to uh, control panel if you go to that it doesn't really remove other folders this will remove all the folders or the cache files and the register cleaner will also do that at the same time as well. So for the value of this program that gives you a big bucks, I'm using System, Me System Mechanics Pro 17 which is the newest version out. Uh, it is worth the money and worth the time. Uh, other than that, 
you got speed you got a, a net booster which optimizes your internet speed but it what it does really is optimize the capabilities on your ethernet card or your wireless card and now all wireless uh, ethernet uh, Wi-Fi cards in your computer or uh, depends now on laptops hear me out on laptops it varies because some perform better than others now if you run a straight to ethernet make sure that you have either a cat 6 or a cat 7 cable which is optimized for fast and fast internet speeds and make sure that your router is also optimized for the fast speeds as well when it comes to the defragmentation now if I was to say uh, analyze I'm just gonna analyze this hard drive here just to show you what you need to really know now it is quickly has end uh, analyzed my SSD I didn't defrag it just analyzed it and imagine this was a hard drive a mechanical hard drive now if you look at what red blue green and gray are the fragment files continuous files free space and system files the reds are what you need to actually really can really make sure that it's not there in your mechanical hard drive because that also slows down speeds, writes, and read times. So the more you actually defrag your system, the more chances that your hard drive will survive. Now I don't recommend doing this every five days. I recommend it doing every 21 days, so you can have a consistent read and writes and speed times, especially boot up times, if you're using this as your main OS and uh, startup hard drive to your operation system. And once you are done analyzing and optimizing your hard drive, make sure that you do it well enough. Like I said, 21 days. This is as, as it out of this. And you have program accelerator. Now I'm going to analyze this one more time for you. What this tells you is that when programs are used over time and programs are being used all the time, files come actually scattered throughout the the hard drive if you're using a mechanical hard drive with the SSD you won't have that issue because as I said before in the beginning of this video SSDs have trim support and trim support automatic trims and relines all the software into one sector and cluster now these are sectors and inside of these sectors are clusters okay and you want all the files to be close to each other as much as possible so as i said when you run on a mechanical hard drive and you're booting up uh, software you really want the hard the mechanical hard drive to actually really read and and write to that particular uh sector and cluster so keep that in your uh keep that in your thoughts and you also have memory booster memory booster defrags whatever you are using or what you have previously used from other software say if you close uh, Adobe Premiere and uh, Adobe uh, Photoshop and you close it like say like two hours ago and you get this you get a little red what is used you defrag it <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me and it tells you how much it recovers and how much you get back but I am running 16 gigabytes of RAM on the system. So that's just a plus for me. And you can always do startup optimizer to reduce startup times if you want. Uh, but that is optional based on your needs because this actually helps you decide what programs you don't want them to start up and what you do want to start up. Say if I want to turn this off and which I should turn this off because I don't use that. Turn this Canon utility off because I don't use that either and basically you choose what you want to start up most of these I need start up because they work together with others with others so keep that in mind with that said we are done with tools now we need to go to active uh, active care is basically a an option tool that you can use and you can enable a lot of things you can also enable how the defragment system does it for yourself 
clean out and repair your registry programs, eliminate unnecessary and dangerous startup programs. You can check boxes and uncheck boxes. So keep that in mind. With that said, you have recommended uh, enable and disable. So and you can choose settings. You can go into the settings and choose as you wish. And you can highlight which hard drive you want to keep uh, the system shield, which is an anti malware that is built into this program to make sure that all your hard drives are safe from malware so keep that in mind you can quarantine them you can delete them you can disinfect them so this software does a lot and it helps your system a lot so and trust me trust me as a, a former ex pro gamer and someone who used to build computers for a living i used to have which I still have my YouTube channel up. It's called PC Hardware and Custom PCs. Um, you can see me where I did a lot of product reviews. People used to send me stuff all the time, but now I don't do that anymore. So um, I'm a photographer, so I do other things. Now it just tells you your active course, which is not really for course. This is a dual core system. My other system before had a quad core with eight threads. So this is just telling you the threads, and this is the core on top speed memories, drives, configurations, etc, etc. And also you have anti-myware uh, last time I scanned it, but I also have my own anti-myware scan, so I don't really need to scan through this system. So keep in mind, this does, does a lot more. And you got firewall, open firewall. This helps better because the Windows firewall system is terribly optimized and pro. I'm, I have to say, like, the configuration for the Windows uh, firewall is just terribly, terribly coded. So, but with that said, this has been a short review of the System Mechanics Pro 17 2017 edition. Uh, my name is Kiki Alexander, also known as the Panda Photographer, and as a photographer, I like to keep my hard drives clean and healthy, and I like to keep them safe, and make sure they are secured and malware free and damage free. And I do recommend this to all photographers and videographers as well, and gamers, PC enthusiasts as well. With that said, thank you for watching everyone. If you do like the content, please do subscribe to this channel. Please hit the notification button, hit that subscribe button, but also share this with your friends if you have someone that's looking into a program. Now, as I said, you can use this for 30 days, but also follow me on Instagram at the Panda Photographer. All the links are down below, but if you really want to help this channel, please support the channel by hitting that PayPal donation. It really helps me out, and I will see you guys in the next video.